time the Hamilton Tiger Cats came out throwing that ball, and the Ottawa Football Club did a good job of containing them, getting five yards on the first pass play and losing ground on the second one. It was complete to Patterson, but again, I think that Hamilton's going to have to throw the ball, and I'm sure the fans are excited to see whether Conridge Holloway, number seven, is going to be a little rusty this afternoon. Let's see what he can do. Here's the pitch to Crump. Richard Crump for the Hamilton 41-yard line will be close to a first down. Wow, Richard Crump taking this pitch and going left, and Jesse O'Neill, number 79, just didn't have the speed outside to get out and contain him, and it was up to number 34 to come up, Zach Henderson, and try and make the hit on Crump, but he moved it downfield, and Ottawa is certainly ready for this ball game in that first offensive threat. Bill Banks in on that play from Penn State. In college, he played the outside uh, back position there, but uh, he's making the transition. They're quite happy with his play. They sure are. Here's Crump being contained this time for only about a yard and a half. A step inside the 40 by Randy Graham. Number 14, Richard Crump, number 33, was with the Calgary Stampeders and joined Ottawa during the course of the season after a run-in there with Jack Gotta, of course, who Stampeders rolled past the BC Lions yesterday and are now preparing for the Eskimos in that Western final next Sunday up in Edmonton. CBC will have that game for you next Sunday afternoon. Don, you probably will see these offenses go to the sideline a great deal because the center of the field between the two hash marks is quite wet and quite slippery. A little greasy out there as Holloway goes right back to Richard Crump. Green swing, and he does not have the first down. Crump was stopped around the 37-yard line by Glenn Robinson from left defensive end, number 60 for Hamilton, as John Payne huddles with his offense at the Hamilton bench because they're about to get this ball back. We'll probably have a field goal attempt as Jimmy Jones comes in with Jerry Oregon. Oregon does both the punting and the field goal kicking for the Ottawa Football Club. They send one lone receiver, Lee Patterson, back for Jerry Oregon's attempt. A little under 50% on the year. Good range from 45 yards, as long as 51. Slight angle right. He's there. The Riders lead 3-0. Field goal makes it Ottawa three, Hamilton nothing. We'll be right back after this. 